Let's talk a little bit about sizing the stove appropriate for the size of the house. If you buy too big a stove or too small of a house or too small of a room that's too closed in that the air can't get out, this is my family room right here and it goes out into my dining area and then out into my kitchen as well. It's all open right through here and it's about a nine and a half foot ceiling. So the air can just move out into those other areas so I don't get too heated up in this room. But if you get too big a stove, what, ha what typically happens is you end up shutting things down because you get too warm in the room that you're in. So you shut it down too quick, you shut down the bypass, you shut down the air control, your windows get black, the stove's not really burning very good. You should never have to clean the window on the stove. Burn it hot, cleans it up. But if you can't burn the stove hot because you got too big a stove, um, you want to make sure you don't make that mistake. The old stoves, you used to try to get as big a log as you could inside the stove because it's the only way you could get it to burn long. This stove here will hold the fire for eight to 10 hours. Again, this very, the only variance is the type of wood that you're burning. Again, your local Lopi dealer will be able to give you some great guidance about the sizing of the stove, the model that's appropriate for you, and the length of wood that would be great for cutting size.